Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about Live Portrait. Live Portrait is an AI powered tool for creating animated portraits from still images. It's designed to bring static photos to life by adding realistic movements and expressions. You can upload a photo or video and the AI will animate it, typically adding movements like blinking, subtle head tilts, and facial expressions. Although Live Portrait has been out for a while, a few new workflows for Comfy UI, and if you're not familiar with it, check out the link above to learn more about it. Uh, were recently released, introducing some cool control features using parameters that can be keyframed to a certain extent. This offers a glimpse into the tool's potential future capabilities, highlighting its flexibility and precision. All right, so let's take a look at what these workflows have to offer. I just want to give you a heads up. I did notice that if your video footage has a lot of head movement, your video won't look so good. So I would try to make sure that the person acting out the expressions keeps their head in one place for the most part. Some people even use a camera tracking technique that locks the head in place. You've probably seen this before since a lot of TikTokers use it. And it gives decent results, but it's still not the best. And these workflows are pretty straightforward setting up. There are other workflows created by Kijai that allow video to video setups, and that's not so easy to get going. I will teach you how to set that up at the very end of this video, just in case you're interested in that. So let's go ahead and install Advanced Live Portrait. You can start by going to Manager. You go to custom nodes and just search for advanced live portrait and then you put install right here and then you just restart it and make sure you update all so that you're up to date with everything as well once that is done you can actually go to your comfy ui folder and then come to custom nodes right here and just look for advanced live portrait go to sample go to workflows and then you have a few workflows right here that you can play around with so let's just try the first one i think it's the one that's right here so I'm going to put this image right here. A lot of people use this image because this is the examples uh, that are being passed around. And if I just run this in the Q prompt, it's going to already give me an animation. And that's what it's doing here. The wing parameter is set to 25. And that's why when you queue this up, it shows you what this wing setting is doing to the source image. And it says right here, original source motion zero. And then we have motion one right here. It tells us what these numbers represent. So it says that the first number represents motion index. Motion one, you got this one, zero. The other numbers like this five, five you see here represent changing frame length and length of frames waiting for the next motion. So let's look at this example. For us to go from the source image to motion one, it will take five frames and it will stay on motion one for five frames. Then for it to go back to the source image, AKA motion zero, it will take three frames and stay there for five frames. Of course, we can alter these numbers however we like. And you can combine other parameters to this motion, like adding mouth opening as if he's saying ah, e, woo, or have him raise his eyebrows, tilt his head. But all those things will happen together at the same time for motion one. If you want to add other motions, you can simply copy and paste this node and alter the parameters there. And that new node will be considered motion two. Now you have another motion you can add to this list of motions. So you can really do a lot of cool things here. I feel like with dialogue, this would actually be very useful but obviously we also have video to video where you can do the dialogue a lot faster and easier still it's a very very cool tool if you really want to see what every all the parameters do you can always use the basic simple expression workflow which is this one right here just double click outside somewhere here and then just put preview image that way it's not saving all the images you're going to be generating just put it in there out here then we're going to come over here. We're going to press extra options. We're going to go auto queue. So now when I press Q prompt, it's going to be continually generating the image. And so now I can play around with the parameters. And when you play around with these, you can see the shape of the mouth, all these things that it's doing. I guess it starts warping really weird here when you move it too much. As you can see, there's a lot of little cool things you can do. I almost feel like this is like a 3D model that I'm moving around. It's kind of crazy. So I'm actually going to remove auto queue now. Just wanted to demonstrate what you can do with that. And here's another workflow where you can add the original image and then you can add someone else's expression like this person that's sad. And then you just generate that and then you have sad face. But then you can still play around with the parameters like with the mouth right here, that open mouth, but it, he looks sad. Say like a wink. Let's try a different image right here. Uh, let's try the Mona Lisa. She's really sad there. <laughs> let's try someone who's happy. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It just looks so funny, man. Yeah, so there's a lot of little cool things you can do with these workflows. And uh, let's try. Here's a more advanced one where let's say we add an image. 
and let's add a video and let's at the same time let's add some more custom parameters right here and we can keyframe them like we did earlier i'm gonna play around more with the head rolls and head tilts because of you know the eyes and the mouth are already kind of going all crazy so so the head is tilting it's rotating that way and then at some point it just ends because i didn't put enough of these keyframes right here so it just stays in the position that i left it here in the last keyframe and i think you can keep adding more of these nodes so that you can have more options with these index numbers so i just look forward to seeing this even better in the future so like i said earlier a person that goes by kajai the person responsible for making so many things possible in comfy ui has developed nodes and workflows for some even more advanced ways of using live portrait like video to video Again, this setup is not as straightforward as the one I just talked about. So let's go over how to get this going. So the links to everything I'm about to discuss is in the description. Go to this GitHub page by Kajai and go to code and copy this address. Then go to your comfy custom notes folder and on the address bar, type in CMD, then enter. And this will open the command prompt. Then type in get clone. By the way, to use this, you're gonna have to have git installed. So if you haven't installed it, there's a link in the description where you can install it and paste the address you just copied by pressing control V then press enter. Then let's go to this page to install inside face, which you will need for this to work. Go down to troubleshoot and follow these steps, which we're going to do right now. Go to your root folder, which is your main comfy UI folder and type in CMD and your address bar, then enter and paste this in the command prompt and press enter. This will show you which version of Python you have. Based on which version you have, you will have to download from one of these links. In my case, it's 3.11. Choose the one that matches the version of your Python and save it in your comfy UI root folder. Again, open the command prompt using the same root folder and paste this and press enter. Then after that, come here and look for your version of Python and copy and paste this to your command prompt and press enter. After this, you should be set. Let's go to the custom node folder again and look for the live portrait KJ folder. If you go to the examples folders, you will find some workflows you can use. You could also find some images and videos to play around with in the assets examples folder. So either drag or load one of these workflows into your comfy UI browser, and you might still have some red nodes. So go to your manager, install missing custom nodes, install whatever is missing and restart. So just to let you know, when you run this workflow for the first time, it may take a little bit longer because it's automatically downloading some models for you. For this video example workflow, you can upload a video here in this top input of a person moving. And the second input, you could put the expressions you want that moving person to have, like this example I'm showing here. You also have this frame load cap node, which represents how many frames will be generated. So if you have a longer video, you can bump this number up. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Like always take care and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.